It's a couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one to rival. This part of our culture, you gotta be fly. Round flowing with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nikes over out of the dials. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist. And y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a pair of sneakers that, you know, we have not seen this shoe since 2004. I'm going to give you guys the first looks on this one right here. And then we're going to also do a little recap, man. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid, posting them pictures for y'all. Go ahead and drop a like on the video, y'all. And with all that being said, let's jump straight into it. Yeah, it this past weekend, October 28th, 2023, we had a classic comeback that we had not seen since 2009. 14 years, y'all. 14 years it took for this sneaker to come back. And honestly, I'm really pleased at the release. I'm happy with the way that they released. Comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions on the release. Now, you guys already know, man, your boy had to pick that double up up. Huge shout out to Finish Line. A uh, little bit, little backstory on these. I was able to go grab these. Of course, I was able to get a little discount on them as well. So, cop them for under retail, a stealing deal, just slightly. You feel me? But um, yeah, y'all already know what these are. These are the Air Jordan Retro 12 Cherries. And I mean, look, y'all. If you, if I say so, I feel like this is how all the releases should be when it comes to classic sneakers like when we get these reimagined breads i feel like everybody should have the opportunity to pick a sneaker up man and this one right here was for everyone man i went in around about 11 o'clock i actually hit for my double up over at Foot Locker, but i didn't feel like driving that far to go pick them up so i was like yo let me see if i can test the waters after i got my hair chopped i was like let me see if i can test the waters over at finish line see what they got going on when i called them they was like yo we've been open for an hour we got one ten and a half left so i was like all right man you know let's go ahead and pick them up i'm gonna grab the other one out of the box too so that i was like man let me go ahead see if i can slide over there and pick them up and they had told me Yo, we're not going to be able to hold these bad boys for you. So if you're not able to get over here to pick them up within the time that you called, if they sell, they sell. So I got there. I was able to pick them up. Super happy that I was able to secure the double up. This is definitely one that I think that, you know, a lot of people were shocked. And I was actually pleased with the way that it went. I was kind of feeling like it was going to be sort of like the playoff 12s, the way that they released the time before. But, I mean, it seems like it was a ton of these released man i'm talking about a ton that's why they didn't have to worry about doing a raffle they did in-store raffle but i mean if you didn't go put a raffle in when i say that they said they had tons of pairs they said they had tons of pairs and people that showed up right when they opened and just picked them up man easy peasy you know what i'm saying if you're trying to cop these right here and i do feel like we will have some restocks on these so if you did not pick a pair up and you wanted to pick a pair up are you going to go ahead and grab these down the line i do again feel like Super easy cop for this weekend, this past weekend, should I say. And, you know, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on these. I definitely feel like, you know, for all the OG heads out there, a lot of people are going to be seeing people rocking the cherries within the next, like, year or two. I feel like people will be busting these down super heavy. And, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I feel like this is going to be a Christmas shoe, man. A lot of people going to wear these, probably throw some green on with them. I mean, I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm pretty sure somebody out there going to be doing, like, ugly sweaters and stuff like that with these right here on. But but for me, man, y'all already know OG over everything. So definitely was needed to have the double up in the collection. This one right here. And I'm telling you, like, 2023 has been nice with giving us sneakers that we haven't seen. And, I mean, this one right here, we have not seen this one retro ever. This is the first time that this sneaker is ever retroing. Now, this sneaker first debuted back in 2004. So we talking like 19 years, y'all. It's about to come up on 20 years since we seen this sneaker and for me this was a must cop and i'm gonna tell y'all right now if you guys trying to pick these bad boys up you can pick them up early if you want over there off of goat that's what i decided to go with and look at this right here 
yo, something new, something different. Box game shawty looking crazy. You know, I ain't got one like this, but I do got one similar. If I'm not mistaken, the women's releases for like the 11s and some of the 4s that they came out with. This looks similar, but the uh, Jumpman is like super shiny and I don't think it's a circle on it. But you guys can see right here, we have the Air Jordan 13 Retro white wheat and i got these in a size 10 and a half these are set to release on november 21st which is a tuesday y'all it is a tuesday that he's supposed to come out with i ain't gonna lie i feel like they might change the date i i mean but you know we do begin sneakers that drop during the week it's nothing that's not uncommon but suggested retail on these is 200 dollars. and like i said you can go over to go and you can grab these things right now you feel me for basically retail let's go ahead and pop the lid the first looks over here i will be doing a full detail review and on feet and yes lord yes lord y'all see them man let's go ahead and get these things about the butt uh, and we in there yes lord yes lord y'all we have the wheat 13s y'all right here in the flesh set to drop november 21st suggest to retail 200 dollars as i said before you can grab these right now off of go early price is on point man we have not seen this sneaker since 2004 yo where were y'all in 2004 you know in 2004 i was in high school man i started high school the 0304 year and um you know this one right here coming out during that time i feel like this one was a staple back in the day kind of like when you look at like the burgundy fives you know the uh green bean fives you know some of the colorways like that not an og but at the same time like a colorway that a lot of people looked at and was like yo these are fire i mean we had the chutney joints that dropped as well um after these that debuted it but the it has been a long 19 years since we've seen this sneaker and i'm super happy to bring you guys a full detail review so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel just wanted to give you guys some first looks on these bad boys but y'all know the vibes man make sure if you guys are new to the channel make sure y'all hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell head over to instagram follow your boy at the retro Wiz kid i stay posting the pictures for y'all and y'all already know this one right here i will spend some pictures just to give you guys a nice little look at the sneaker after this video because y'all already know that's the vibe man and uh y'all let me know what y'all thoughts and opinions on this first look at this pair and honestly man i'm really pleased with the colorway i've always liked the wheat 13s i feel like this one is just a vibe especially for the fall time it's a lot of fits that you can put with this color to match it up for the fall and i feel like you know it's perfect for the fall and especially going in the winters and all that i mean when it comes to a sneaker man sometimes it's just the colors man colors be setting the tone for the time of the year and i feel like this one is for that time of the year but i mean also man you know it's a vibe these definitely can be rocked during the summertime whenever you please to rock them but it is your boy the retro wiz kid man enough talking for today man make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel i appreciate all the love and support that y'all continue to show your boy over here on the channel until the next video peace love and laguna beach and we out this thing Get it. It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom